Hello and welcome to the 2019 season of TVJ's Junior Schools Challenge Quiz. This is the first match in round two. It's George Headley Primary from St. Andrew up against Bound Brook Primary from Portland. I'm your host, Kadeen Foote, and the action begins right now. With the coin toss earlier, we had George Headley winning that toss, but they asked Brown Bound Brook to go first. So in this first section, we'll ask teams questions alternatively. They will have 10 seconds in which to answer and will earn one point for each correct answer. This section lasts for four minutes, so let's have that on the clock and begin with Bible knowledge for Bound Brook. In the New Testament, on the road to which city was Saul converted to Christianity? Damascus, 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 Damascus. Damascus. Correct. George Headley, in the New Testament, in which city did Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead? Bethany, Bethany, Bethany. Bethany. Correct. Science. Boundbrook, what is the name of the tissue that connects bone to bone in the human body? Joint. 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 Incorrect. It's ligament. George Headley, what is the name of the tissue that connects a muscle to the bone in the body? Tendons. Tendons. Correct. Regional affairs, Boundbrook, it's a visual. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Fitz Jackson. Incorrect, it's Donaldson, Romeo, premier of Montserrat. George Headley, your turn to look at the monitor and identify this person. Dean Barrow, Dean Barrow, Dean Barrow. Prime Minister of Belize, that's correct. English language, Boundbrook, what is the meaning of the prefix anti as used in antidote? Antidote. Hmm? Opposite. 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 Correct. George Headley, what is the meaning of the prefix ultra as used in ultraviolet? Harmful. 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 Incorrect, it's beyond. We move on to television. This is another visual, Bound Brook. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Uh, Anthony. No, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Jordan. Correct. George Headley, your turn. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch. Incorrect, it's Chadwick Boseman. General knowledge, Boundbrook, Nicolas Maduro succeeded whom as president of Venezuela? Guardiola. Incorrect, it's Hugo Chavez. George Headley, Raul Castro succeeded whom as president of Cuba? Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro. His brother, that's correct. Social studies, Boundbrook, which of these rivers in Jamaica is the longest? Is it Rio Cobre, Rio Mino, or Wagwater River? Rio Mino. Rio Mino. Correct. George Headley, which of these rivers in Jamaica is the longest? Is it Black River, White River, or Hector's River? Black River. Black River. Black River. Correct. Music, Boundbrook, to which family of instruments does the viola belong? String, string, string. String. Correct. George Headley, to which family of instruments does the saxophone belong? Wind, wind, wind. Cor well, judges, will I accept or woodwind? I accept it. Mathematics, Boundbrook, what is the value of x if 5x minus 80 is equal to zero? Minus. Question passes to George Headley. Would you like to try? Yes, thank you. 16, 16, 16. That is correct. Still with you, George Headley. What is the value of n if 2n minus 38 equals 0? Nineteen. 19. That is correct. Sports, this is a visual, Boundbrook. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. That is correct. 
and George Headley look at the monitor and identify this person. Luis, Luis Suarez, Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez. That is correct. And at the sound of the bell, we have Boundbrook on six and George Headley on nine. And we go for our first break, but before we go, please listen out for the friendly tip from NCB Insurance. Do not accept calls or respond to messages from strange persons. If a stranger keeps calling your phone or sends you messages on your computer, tell your parents or guardians immediately. When we return, it will be time for the face-off. Please stay with us. staying with us you're watching tvj's junior schools challenge quiz and the scores are boundbrook primary on six and george headley on nine and now it's time for the junior challenge face off where members of each team will face off against a member of the opposing team in math science english language and social studies the first face off is in mathematics and this is kiandra moncrief from boundbrook up against javier grosset from george headley kiandra if two b plus eight equals 36. What is the value of B? Fourteen. Correct. The mean average weight of four girls is 45 kilograms. If the weights of three of the girls are 40 kilograms, 54 kilograms, and 30 kilograms respectively, what is the weight of the fourth girl? One. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Javier? No, thank you. It's 56. Kandra, what is 0 0.077 as a percentage? 7.7%. Judges? Correct. How much is 40 minus 7.62? Would you yep. like to try, Javier? Yes, thank you, Miss. 32.38. Correct. Keandro, how many sides does a hexagon have? Six. That's correct. Your questions now, Javier. If 7A minus 6 equals 78, what is the value of A? 12. Correct. The mean average of three numbers is 36. If a fourth number, 52, is added, what will be the new mean average? 40. Judges? Came after the bell? Okay. So we'll pass that over to Kiandra. Would you like to try? Yes, thank you, 40. That's correct. Javier, what is 48.7248 rounded off to the nearest thousandth? Sorry. 48.725. Correct. How much is 60 minus 19.87? Forty point one three. Correct. And what is the name given to a polygon with five sides? Pentagon. That is correct. That's the end of the math face-off. We move on to science. This face-off is between Romaine Smith from Boundbrook up against Kalia Fuller from George Headley. Romaine, what is the international unit for measuring temperature? Degrees Celsius. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Kalia? 
Yes, thank you. Degrees Fahrenheit. Incorrect. It's Kelvin. Romaine, what is the common unit used to measure volume? Would you like to try, Kalio? No, thank you. It's cubic meters. Romaine, what kind of force is used when you start a ball rolling? Kalia, would you like to try? No, thank you. It's push force. Remain an object is placed into a cylinder with water. What is being measured? Density. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Kalia? Yes, thank you. The volume of the object. That is correct. And remain what name is given to minerals from which metal can be extracted? Or? That's correct. Kalia? What is the international unit for measuring time? Hours and minutes. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Romain? No, thank you. Seconds. Kalia, the Newton meter is used to measure which quantity? Electricity. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Romain? No, thank you. Force. Kalia, the force needed to move an object varies according to the mass of the object or what else? Direction. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Romain? Yes, thank you. Texture. Incorrect. It's the weight of the object. Kalia, when an object is placed into a container with water, why does the water level rise? The object displaces the water. That's correct. What name is given to rare minerals called precious gems? Let me read that again. What name is given to rare minerals called precious stones? Gems. That is correct. And we move now to English language. This is Kefonia Hamba from Boundbrook up against Cerise McCormick, captain of George Headley. Kefonia spelled the word share as used in this sentence. It was sheer pandemonium in the stadium when the record was broken. S H. Speak up for me, please. S H E I R. Incorrect. Would you like to try Cerise? Yes, thank you. S-H-E-A-R. Incorrect. It's S-H-E-E-R. Kefonia, identify the word or words in this sentence, which should be in capital letters. The girl visited the city of Madrid, which is the capital of Spain. The Madrid of um, Spain. Correct. What is the past participle of the word upset? Would you like to try, Cerise? No, thank you. It's upset. Kefonia, in a sentence, which punctuation mark is placed before a list of items? Colon. Correct. And what is the reflexive pronoun in this sentence? Mother baked the cakes herself because she was an expert. Herself? Correct. Cerise, your questions? Spell the word discreet as used in this sentence. The teacher made the two students sit at two discreet places so they would stop arguing. Discreet. D-I-S-C-R-E-T-E. -E. Correct. Identify the word or words in the sentence, which should be in capital letters. Paul arrived later for his mother's birthday party at the restaurant. Paula. Incorrect. Would you like to try Kefona? Yes, it's Paul. Paul is correct. Cerise, what is the past participle of the word seek? Sought. Correct. Which punctuation mark is placed before and after what someone has said as direct speech? Quotation mark. Correct. And what are the object pronouns in the sentence? Paul will have to tell me why he left it on the bus. Me. And, so it. and that's correct. So we move on now to social studies. This is Captain Mikhail Richards from Boundbrook up against Calacia Carles from George Headley. Mikhail, what is the name for an area of fresh water surrounded by land? The sea. Incorrect. Would you like to try Calacia? 
No, thank you. It's a lake. Mikhail, in which parish in Jamaica is Stony Hill located? St. Andrew. Correct. When was the last year that changes were made to the Jamaican coat of arms? 1962. Correct. Giving the full title, state how Jamaica's Governor General is to be officially addressed. From the Queen of England. Incorrect, Calicia. Would you like to try? Yes, thank you, Mr. Most Honorable. Incorrect. It's His Excellency, the Most Honorable. Mikhail, which set of Europeans settled in Guadeloupe and Martinique in 1635? The French. That is correct. Now for your questions, Calicia. The largest freshwater lake in Jamaica is the Wally Wash Pond in which parish? St. Anne. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Mikhail? No, no, thank you, Miss. It's St. Elizabeth. Calicia, what is the name for a high area of flat land with steep slopes? Plateau. Correct. In addition to the crocodile, what is above the shield on the Jamaica coat of arms? The head of an eagle. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Mikhail? No, thank you, Miss. It's a crest or a helmet. Calacia, giving the full title, state how Jamaica's Prime Minister is to be officially addressed if he is awarded the Order of the Nation. The Most Honorable. Correct. And which set of Europeans began the colonization of the Caribbean in 1494, 1493 rather? Spanish. That is correct. And at the end of the face-off, we have Boundbrook on 17 and George Headley on 21. So we go for a break, but when we come back, it's time for the final challenge. So please stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. You're watching TVJ's Junior Schools Challenge Quiz 2019, the first match in round two. And the scores are Boundbrook on 17 and George Headley on 21. So now it's time for the final challenge where questions are thrown open to both teams. The first one pressing the buzzer earns the right to answer after the school has been identified. They will earn two points for each correct answer, but will lose two points if the answer is incorrect or incomplete. So teams, good luck to you and we start off with regional affairs. It's a visual, so look at the monitor and identify this person. It's Jovenel Moise, Prime Minister of Haiti. Sports, how many matches did the West Indies win at the 2019 ICC? That's Bound Brook. 24. In the ICC 50 over Cricket World Cup in England, that's two. Bible knowledge. Which of the four Gospels is not a part of the... That is George Headley. John, 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 John. Is not a part of the Synoptic Gospels, that's correct. Science. In what unit is air pressure measured? George Headley. Millibars, millibars, millibars. Correct. English language. Spell the word dessert as used in the following sentence. The dessert was... George Headley. B E S S E R T. Was very delicious, correct. Music. Natalie Cole was the daughter of which famous singer? Natalie Cole. Nat King Cole. General knowledge. What is unique about marsupials? Boundbrook? They have their babies in pouches. They keep their babies in pouches. They keep their babies in pouches. Correct. Television, this is a visual. Teams, look at the monitor and identify the person. Found Brook. Danny Glover Jr. Danny Glover Jr. Judges? That is correct. Mathematics, what is the product of 805, that's 805, and 7? George Headley. 5635. Correct. Social studies, 
who was the governor of Jamaica at the, at the time of the Morant Bay Rebellion? Round the book. Edward Edward Erie. Edward Erie. Judges? That's incorrect. It's Governor Edward Eyre. We move on to television. Who plays the role of Ali Dawson in the Disney television series Austin and Ali? Laura Marano. Sports, this is a visual. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Bound Brook. Donna Quarry. Donna Quarry. Former Jamaican Olympian, correct. Bible knowledge. In the New Testament, who was the husband of Sapphira who died on the same day with her? Ananias. Science, which of these is not a force? Is it work, upthrust, or... F George Headley? Work, work, work. Correct. Or friction was the next one. English language. Spell the word precocious, often used to describe a child having developed certain tendencies at an earlier age than usual. Bound book? P-R-E-C-A-U. T-I-O-U-S. Incorrect. It's P-R-E-C-O-C-I-O-U-S. Music. What is another name for the 30-second note? George Headley? Hemi Semi Quaver. Say that again, please. Hemi Semi Quaver. It's incorrect. It's Demi Semi Waver. And that's the bell signaling the end of today's match with Boundbrook on 17 and George Headley on 29. We go for a break and when we come back, we wrap things up. Please stay with us. Welcome back, George Headley Primary is our winner. And in the true spirit of TPJ's Junior Schools Challenge Quiz, we ask the captains to come forward and shake hands. Thank you, captains. Again, the final scores are George Headley Primary on 29 and Boundbrook Primary on 17. George Headley Primary will now advance to round two three of the competition. But before we go, special thanks to the teachers who worked very hard with the teams. From George Headley Primary, we thank Arlene Lewis and Andre Plummer. While from Boundbrook Primary, we thank Emile Rodney and Clyde McKenzie. And of course, we also have to acknowledge our judges for this evening's match, Margaret Bailey and Miss Doris McFarlane. Don't forget now to join us tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. for the second match in round two, when Hopewell Prep faces Falling Primary. See you then.